of an alive look from Paris, France, where a new day is about to begin in that city. Firefighters are on the scene of Notre Dame Cathedral at this hour, but you can see the fire is out. And many of you watch the inferno though rip through one of the most famous cathedrals in the world. All new at 11, investigators say that fire is under control and right now they're beginning to assess the damage. Starting to take a look here at some of our first images from inside the cathedral as well. New pictures just into the newsroom here and fire investigators say the main structure of the cathedral has been saved. The two iconic main towers are also intact. We just learned firefighters saved several historic items from the fire. The mayor of Paris tweeted this picture saying works like the crown of thorns are in a safe spot tonight. Investigators believe the cause of the fire is accidental. The cathedral was undergoing renovations and it's not clear right now if the construction sparked the fire. Tonight, France's president is promising to rebuild Notre Dame and he will seek international help to do so. Also new tonight, the city of Paris comes together. Thousands lining the streets there outside the cathedral this evening to pray and sing. We want to mention, of course, this is Holy Week, the sacred week leading up to Easter. Shocked that you know here we are seeing this this historical structure, this legacy church that had survived two world wars, you know, a revolution, and here here it is up in smell, up in flames. New at 11, the dangers of battling church fires. A local firefighter remembers responding to this fire 11 years ago. It destroyed part of St. George's Catholic Church in Clifton. Well, nine on your side's Jake Ryle joins us now live with a firsthand perspective on the dangers firefighters face in these types of situations. Jake. Well, Craig and Tanya, you know, Matt Alter, that Cincinnati firefighter that I spoke with, said that this church at 146 years old is considered to be a legacy church. It's big, it's old, and it has lots of challenges when it comes to fighting fires. A place of, of reverence, or, you know, worship for people, and, and it's literally going up in smoke right before their eyes. Firefighter Matt Alter remembers the February night in 2008 vividly. It was a long night. It was very cold. I remember that. It was a very cold night. Heading down to McMillan, and we look up because, you know, the very iconic spires, and there we see flames licking from the spires. The spires blew from the burning copper. They're very beautiful, They're very large, very large vaulted ceilings, use dimensional lumber, They're extremely old. All challenges crews have to tackle, but not their top priority. First thing is life safety. Is there anybody in there? Then it's on to saving what's inside. Of looking at what can you save and what can you do and what is just too far gone. For St. George's, the spires were coming down. Fire crews could only initially watch from a distance. The, the steeple is already destroyed, so we weren't going to save that. Main thing is keeping the fire confined or out of the main body of the church. Fast forward 11 years, Notre Dame Cathedral on fire. The very iconic buttresses that hold the church up, once that goes, there's very little structural integrity left. Back home, the damage kept mostly to the spires. The building now resurrected for a new church home. To see that we were still able to preserve the good majority of it and it was able to be preserved um, for use by another group is, is absolutely it's what makes the job worth it. Now Alter says the spires are a big deal when determining a collapse zone at a place like Notre Dame Cathedral. That's what would make it difficult to fight the fire. Crews would have to be far enough back to be able to safely fight the flames. For now, reporting live in Clifton, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side. Jake, thank you. And the design of the Notre Dame Cathedral has inspired churches all over the world, including the Cathedral Basilica of the Assumption in Covington. This is video from inside that building. Tonight, we're actually hearing from local faith leaders as well about the impact of this fire overseas. We spoke with Father Jan Schmidt of the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. It is uh, very much an icon of our faith. Uh, everyone knows Notre Dame. I felt like I had been kicked in, in the gut. Uh, literally, I've visited many times. I, I know the beauty and uh, you know the place that, that Notre Dame has in Paris and, and amongst the French, uh, how important it is. And, and to see something like this happen is just, uh, it's truly horrible. Now, Father Schmidt tells us he is aware about fire concerns in old churches, and it's something he thinks about often. So I was just in France a week ago. In fact, my son Liam is studying abroad there right now. He was in Paris when the fire started and he took this video. He told me what it was like watching the cathedral burn from about 200 yards away. I'm seeing a lot of people grasping, grasping their mouths. They're in shock. 
not a much, as much prayer, but there are people who are concerned because it is such a large tourist trap. And Nine on Your Side will continue to monitor this developing story overnight. We'll be sure to bring you any new updates during this newscast, and you should look for breaking developments on WCPO.com. We'll have push alerts to your smartphone should you need one. As always, be sure to join us for Good Morning Tri-State. It starts at 430.